Aloha Kako. I'm at the corner of Ward and Baratania, Occupy Honolulu. Uh, if you were watching uh, earlier this morning, about 12 hours ago, you would have seen the police and crews from the state take everything uh, from the that was left here in the public forum area. A lot of the tents were taken by Occupy forces in order to be preserved and to bring it back. And let's see how that effort is going. We're at the corner here. It's before uh, 10 a.m., I mean 10 p.m., which is the park closing time, so I will be able to walk inside the park area, but as you can see, it seems like there's still some kind of activity here. A white picket fence, is that, a, do you call that a picket fence? And, of course, the tents are back. I just wanted to introduce our new uh, Adopt-A-Tent program, where we can get one of these tents. Uh, for instance, we're coming across a couple of uh, tents we got at Target. People have gotten at Target. They're like 35 bucks, not too bad. What you do if you want to support Occupy, is you get uh, two tents. The law, Bill 54, that they're using, now known as Ordinance 11-29, uh, is a, a law that allows the seizure of property. And it's aimed, it was designed primarily against the uh, houseless people. Um, and it requires that the property to be seized be continuously on public property, the sidewalk, say. A tent on the sidewalk is the, what they were after. Um, and if left there for a continuous 24 hours, it was subject to seizure. Now, the reason why people in Hawaii camp right on the roadside, as you can see here, of the new Occupy, is because this zone is protected by the Kanawai Mamalahoi Law of the Splintered Paddle, which allows people to be undisturbed by the side of the road. City attorneys decided that that meant that you could lie by this right side of the road, but not with any stuff. That's uh, what they're trying to do with Bill 54, is that if you have uh, shelter, that's subject to seizure. Well, the tents have to be here for 24 hours continuously. So the Adopt-A-Tent program works by buying identical types of tents and always having an extra tent to swap out. So, so if you want to stay up any of these up tired, tents right? could be uh, swapped out with an identical tent. And uh, there, thereby be not subject to seizure. Anyway, that's the plan, and as you can see, there's at least one line of tents have, have gone up. It's uh, kind of late here, and it's been a long day, so people have uh, are going to sleep. Now, if there's a raid at 2 a.m., they could, let's see what they could take. They could take things only that were inside this area, which they claim is inside park boundaries and is in 
back the public forum area. Everything has been taken out of the public forum area um, to be placed back in at uh, 5 a.m. So let me show you while I still got time. I wonder. Ooh, this came down a little bit. Okay, I've got to get. I've got to back out of the illegal part of the uh, sidewalk. Sign says, "Shouldn't the police be fighting real crime?" Good question. I'm going to sign off. This was just a short walk around. Uh, so I like to sign off while facing a sign that is Occupy Honolulu corner of Baratanian Ward where the fifth tent encampment has gone back up people are getting very good practice at it and that person walking illegally through the <laughs> area known as the park after closing subject to arrest but won't be harassed at all because not participating in Occupy Honolulu. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you uh, tomorrow at 1.30 p I'm sorry, tomorrow. Actually, this is a good reminder. Tomorrow, 12.30 p.m. is uh, the trial of six of the original um, Occupy Honolulu members arrested on November 5th. We'll be having a demonstration in front of the district court building that's 1111 Nalakea at 1230 p.m. Uh, and I believe the trial is scheduled at 1.30. I'll double check that. But if you're in town, if you're in Honolulu, come by. Um, and I will try streaming it depending on the bandwidth. I think there's a lot of free uh, Wi-Fi downtown, but you know what? Um, a lot of the Wi-Fi, they filter the Ustream port. Thank you very much. Anyway, there's the sign and there's the new tent city. And I will see you tomorrow. And a better world is possible. And it's up to you.